Hi, I'm Stephen Gardner, a bereavement counselor with Hospice of the Valley and a retired Army veteran. During my 22-year military career, I provided spiritual support and counseling to wounded soldiers. Today, we're going to talk about grief and what makes it unique for our military veterans. We all have experienced some form of loss, whether it's moving from a neighborhood and leaving family and friends, losing a job, experiencing divorce, or having a cherished pet die. And many of us have experienced the death of a loved one. Loss is hard, and the way we deal with it is through grieving. So what is grief? Grief is internal feelings triggered by a deep loss. It is unique to each person and includes physical, emotional, spiritual, and social reactions. It is influenced by our personality and our nature. It can come and go and show up when we least expect it. Mourning, on the other hand, is how we put expression to our loss. How we mourn is influenced by our social and cultural experiences. Mourning may include activities such as a funeral, memorial services, sitting Shiva in the Jewish faith, or simply visiting a cemetery. People mourn uniquely and in their own way. Some express with feelings and emotions while others are more task-oriented grievers. That means they cope with their emotions by completing tasks or projects. There is no right or wrong way to grieve and no timetable for how long it should last. Grief is very complex and it affects our entire being. Physical effects include weight gain or weight loss, fatigue, low energy, headaches, stomach aches, sleep disturbances, appetite changes, and compromised immune systems. Emotional effects include anger, guilt, depression, anxiety, sadness, loneliness, shock, relief, yearning, helplessness, fear, irritability, impatience, and sometimes feeling just overwhelmed. Mental effects include inability to concentrate, difficulty remembering things, or simply misplacing items. Spiritual effects include anger at God, inner conflicts, questioning values and beliefs, lack of meaning or purpose in life. Now let's talk about the unique needs of veterans during a time of grief. Veterans experience unique forms of grief related to their military service. Many have experienced the loss of a military comrade who died in battle. It is common for them to have survivor's guilt since they survived and the others did not. In addition, veterans may feel a loss of closeness with their fellow service members and if they are retired, a loss of identity as a member of the armed forces. Many veterans have experienced loss through a disability acquired during service, traumatic brain injury, or mental health challenges such as PTSD or a loss of sense of safety. Military culture greatly affects the grieving process. It is important to note that there is no universal military culture. How a veteran grieves depends on factors such as branch of service, rank, or whether someone was enlisted or drafted, or whether they saw combat. One universal theme is stoicism, and that's experienced by all military members. Why? Because we're taught to handle anything, to compartmentalize. We're taught to live in survival mode and disconnect from our emotions. This can make grieving more difficult. Veterans may also experience disenfranchised grief. This is grief that occurs when a loss is not or cannot be openly acknowledged, publicly mourned, or socially supported. Family and friends of service members killed in action may hear comments that death should be expected for those who are on active duty during wartime. Veterans themselves also experience disenfranchised grief after returning to civilian life and feeling responsible for the deaths of enemy combatants or civilians. Fear of judgment can prevent them from sharing these experiences with others. It is not uncommon for recent losses to trigger the trauma 
and memories of combat that occurred years ago, compounding the grief. Another complicating factor is that veterans may have been in situations which caused them to perform or witness behavior that was in conflict with their personal beliefs or religious or spiritual beliefs. So what helps? Grief is a necessary process that must be experienced. What was physical is now intangible. The goal, however, is to work through the grief. We will never get over the loss because it's not an illness or disease that we can recover from. We can and will learn to live with the changes our loss has brought and our lives will once again have joy and have meaning. Grief work is hard work. Seeking help and support from those can be helpful. Our friends and family members are very capable of assisting grievers with physical and emotional needs, but seeking professional help is important when mental and or spiritual needs are present. And lastly, grief is normal and natural, and we all have experienced it at some point in our lives. The work of grief can feel hard, but you are not alone, and you will get through it. That doesn't mean forgetting those we've lost. We will always keep them in our hearts and also in our memories.